When looking at most hospitals in India, we find that they are overcrowded and understaffed, resulting in poor patient monitoring. One of the problems which is seen very often in general wards is the monitoring of intravenous infusion therapy, which is also known as IV or drip. In simple words, IV infusion is a process where saline, glucose or other drugs are given directly into the patient's blood through a needle to the vein. It is essential that the flow is stopped before the bottle and tube are completely drained. If not, it might result in backflow of blood into the tube, which is actually a common occurrence in most of the hospitals due to lack of individual attention. Another possibility is the entry of air bubbles into the bloodstream, which might even be fatal. The simplest solution to this issue is a low-cost device that can indicate when the infusion of required volume of fluid is complete. This is exactly what we have created. A simple device that can detect when the level of fluid in the bottom falls below a particular level. With this, we have added different functions to create two different devices which will be useful for various sections of healthcare sector. The basic version of the device gives an alarm along with the light indicator when the infusion is complete. Most bottles containing fluids for the IV infusion come with a volume indication on the sides. The strip can be easily attached at the desired level on the bottle. If the complete bottle is to be infused, it can be attached to the neck of the bottle. Once the device is switched on, it will be calibrated according to the type of the bottle and the fluid within it. It will then monitor the infusion process in real time. Once the level of the fluid inside the bottle goes below the level of the strip, the device buzzes, indicating the completion of the infusion process. It can be integrated with the existing bedside alarm in the hospitals, so that the nurse station is alerted. Higher version of this device will have an additional mechanical coupling, which will choke the tube and stop the flow of the fluid once the desired volume has been infused. This is useful in cases where the nurse is not able to attend the patient and remove the tube immediately. Blocking the tube will prevent excess infusion of fluid as well as backflow of blood. These functions are incorporated in the most infusion pumps available in the market today, but they have a lot of other features as well which are not required regularly in the general wards and increase their cost. Segregation of the most useful features makes our device low cost and easy to operate. This device has the potential to make patient monitoring accessible to general wards in urban as well as rural areas.